Hello everybody, it's Pastor Noah here. Just want to show you something real quick. I've had several people ask me uh, how they cancel uh, a sign up if they've signed up for a worship service or if they've signed up to serve using the Sign Up Genius app um, or using it on your computer. So if you did click this link and you signed up for the church service, for example, I just want to show you how you can cancel that sign up. So that way you don't have to reach out to me to do it. Um, I'm certainly more than willing to do it if you'd like though. Um, so uh, if you have an account with Sign Up Genius and that's how you signed up, that's really super easy. All you got to do is go to signupgenius.com or if you have the app, you can go to your app and make sure you're logged in. And then you just log in, you type in your email, your password, create an account for Marley just to show you. Um, and then you log in and it will show you where you have signed up, the different signups that you're a part of. Okay, it might be a screen that looks like this. Um, it might look a little bit different, but basically you're either going to edit um, whoever, uh, if you want to change like how many people are coming with you, you can edit it this way, or you can just straight up delete it from this screen. The other option that you have, it might look more like this. If you click on it, it will take you to the actual sign up page, and then you just kind of scroll down and it will look like this if you've signed up for something. So you can, again, delete it here or edit it either way that works okay so that's easier that's the sign up um, if you have an account uh, with sign up genius it's a little bit more straightforward now if you signed up without making an account there's just a couple more steps to it all right so I've I have already signed up for our worship services without using an account and so they send you an email it's a confirmation email so you need to be able to access that email in order to be able to cancel your um, your sign up. So this is the email that they sent. It's just called sign up confirmation. And so all I have to do is click view sign up on the email. It'll take me to this link. And again, this link will look like it's the sign up page itself. Um, and you can scroll down and it's not going to show you as, as having been signed up yet uh, because it, it doesn't know how to recognize you because you don't have an account. So basically right here, you can see it says already signed up. You can change your sign up. So that's where you're going to click on that link and then it's going to give you a couple different options and and we're interested in this middle one here somebody or i've signed up without a sign up genius account so you're just going to select that it gives you a couple other opportunities and options we're interested in number three here you can put your email address in here and then you click send me an email i've already done this so you can see it takes a couple minutes to get to your inbox but it sends an email that looks like this. It's called worship services edit link. Okay. And so now you can go in and you can choose which worship services or which sign up you'd like to edit. Okay. So you can click on that one, for example, and it will take you to what it looked like when you were signing up. So you can change how many people are, you're coming with, or you can just go straight to this delete button at the bottom and press delete. And then it will ask you if you really want to do this. You can send a message if you want. You certainly don't have to. And then you just delete. Okay. So those are the two ways to do it. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward, but just wanted to show you how to do that. It's a, a couple more steps if you don't have an account. Um, but if uh, you'd like to do that, you certainly can do that. If you want help, you can reach out to me and uh, give a call to the church here, and we'll be able to walk you through that. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.